Chip Chip Crooners, good morning to you. Today is Wednesday the 5th of December 2018. My name is Donato and welcome to my daily show. Oh yes, tea, best drink of the day, although this is a little cold as I was having my breakfast uh, a little earlier. Today is a bit of a cloudier, bleaker day, cooler. How's it like where you are? Um, yesterday was a nice bright sunny day but very cold. Uh, today's a little bit warmer but yeah how is it like where you are in the world? In fact maybe leave some positive comments below where you are in the world uh, watching this right now. So yes Yesterday's vlog cre caused great, uh, a great feedback and some really amazing positive responses. It's great to see every everybody else is on their journeys, weight loss and so on and so forth. But let me show you what I mentioned once I was drinking my tea, uh, what I had for breakfast. Um, have a quick look what I had uh, for breakfast, yeah? So following today's uh, trip to the gym, I normally have um, oatmeal porridge for breakfast, but uh, today when I was walking around the uh, supermarket, I felt like having something a bit different. So I've got some uh, toast with peanut butter and jam. Yummy. And then I've got some uh, blueberries to finish off. And obviously my cup of tea, yeah, which again is uh, the lemon and ginger. Yummy, yummy. So yeah, not uh, oatmeal porridge today. I felt like something a bit different. I'm not had peanut butter. <sighs> yes. <laughs> and for some reason I saw it on the shelf and I thought, let's try some of this. Mm -mm. I'm going to taste so yummy. So as you saw there, trying new things that uh, haven't had peanut butter in years and years and it tasted really good. It was homemade bread, but I tend to have different things. Normally it's, um, I say normally, uh, most days I tend to have porridge. Um, I think uh, oatmeal is another word for it. Um, just porridge and water, you know, nothing... Uh, nothing uh, revolutionary um, but I'll come on to the uh, comments on uh, yesterday's vlog but also today I was going to be touching on um, about veganism and ketosis and all these types of diets and how it affects people in terms of their athleticism or day-to-day -day lives um, but that'll be later but whilst you are here if you are new please do consider subscribing Boom! <laughs> Whoa, do you like this I've worked out how to put a um, subscribe type thing in here yeah it's good isn't it and um, it may even appear again boom hey look there it is again <laughs> yeah it's like a new toy i've worked out how to do this so uh, yeah and obviously i'm wearing my bright green top because obviously it's winter months now so you need to be seen so i'd like to be seen here on the, this vlog so you can know where i am and your eyes aren't drifting away but yeah here i am yes welcome but i've got to say a big big thank you to uh, each and every you each and every one of you who uh, keep coming back and watching this, it's now daily. And uh, today is number seven. Yeah! So it's a whole week, a whole week, every day I've been producing this. And I really do love producing this. Whilst it's just me talking to a camera there, that's it. There's no one else here. It's just me and you and the camera too. Yes, another poem. Yes, a poet with pace. If you've seen some of my poems, have a look through my uh, vlogs and you'll see all sorts of stuff. I might put a link up there to uh, one of my uh, recent poems. I think the Chicago one was the one where it sort of kicked it off in terms of publishing, but I've been doing it for many years now and it's just part and parcel of me. Yeah, I do lots of things. Maybe not that good, but I have a go. So I just want to go through some of the comments um, that people said. I've got it here on my phone. So um, it's not from memory, I'm, I'm not that good. <laughs> and I haven't got an auto cue there, as I said yesterday, I'm not a professional presenter. But um, comments here, Nathan Clifford, thank you very much for your comment, Nathan. Well done, Donato, thanks for sharing your story and how you kick-started your fitness journey. I 100% agree that if you want to make a change, do it now and don't delay it. As I said, do it now. Um, I decided one day in March 2016 that starting the following day, I was going to go vegan and I've never looked back. It works for me and there is no point waiting for a specific date in the calendar or end start of the year. Just make the changes that you want to make. Absolutely brilliant, Nathan. Fantastic. And that's what I want to see. And the key thing, obviously Nathan said he went vegan, which is brilliant. And I'm not here to promote veganism. I'm not here to knock veganism or anything like that. And um, the key thing I'm getting here from Nathan is he's happy and he enjoys what he does. So he made that decision. He's done it now. 
And here's a message from Gary South. Fantastic Donato, going to follow your advice. Well, I'm not really giving advice, but I'm just doing what I said. So yeah, it's my legal caveat. I'm, I'm not giving advice here. I'm just saying what I do. And, and if you want to copy that, it's entirely up to you. But I highly recommend go and see your GP before you change anything uh, radical, maybe. Um, so fantastic Donato, go and follow your advice. With regards to bill sizes and not having starter, main meal and dessert, cutting down is a way to do it. I have lost three stone of the last couple of years doing Slimming World that is gradually keeping back on need to get a stone off again to get back to my ideal weight. So I'm going to follow your advice from tomorrow, let you know how it goes. Thanks, my friend. Brilliant, Gary. Keep us posted how you're doing. And uh, fantastic. Three stones. And he mentioned Slimming World. Um, there's lots of groups that are other brands. Again, I'm not, I'm not paid by Slimming World says. I'm just reading what Gary said. Um, there are other brands that do all this type of thing, and it's a brilliant way, you know, for a lot of people, like with running, um, some people like doing it on their own, which is fine. You know, for me, when I go out running, training, I like training on my own, I like training with groups, I like training, but mainly I'm on my own, just as purely because of the job that I do, I'm traveling all over the place, so finding my club and group. But it's a great way when you join with other groups and other peer people, and you're all going through the process together, it's a brilliant way of reinforcing it. And uh, yeah, well done, Gary. Keep up the great work. And everyone there at Slimming World, brilliant. It does work, you know, you make it work. There are other brands. And as I say, it's not about fad diets or anything like that. Um, here's one from Jamie Stewart. Uh, fantastic advice, Donato, no BS. Yeah, I know, you won't find any BS on here. So thank you, Stuart, for uh, reading through that. And can be fit. Left a comment here, congratulations on your weight loss process. Staying fit and transforming. Small things over time definitely lead to big results. One of my big mantras is it's the little things that make the big difference. That's right. Little things make big differences. And it's the same with marathon training, all forms of training, whatever fitness type things you do. It's not the, the big things that make the big changes. It's the little things that make the big changes. And it's what I do each and every day. So thank you for that can be fit. Fantastic. It's great seeing so many people all joining in. As I said, the silent and um, the silent majority as opposed to the vociferous minority. So the silent majority are all coming out and leaving their comments, which is great. And here's one from Cole in Leeds. Massive well done Donato. Likes, I love stories, sorry, he said love stories like this show small changes can get big results. So again, Cole says, so thank you Cole up in Leeds and well done on getting your London Marathon place. That was the best news I heard that morning. Um, fantastic, fantastic. Um, Sean, I'll be reaching out next year to get help with my training. Your times on marathon and the half times are impressive. Thank you, Sean. I look forward to you getting in touch. As I said, um, I've now opened out the one-to-one uh, -one sessions. I've been doing one-to-one -one sessions for a while with people, and I've now opened it out to you guys. You, there's the email below. You can reach out on the email below and uh, get in touch for one-to-one -one sessions and where I can help with training, weight loss, uh, health, wellness, all types of things. Yeah? Uh, the world's okayest runner. I love that name. The world's okayest runner. I don't know who, who this person is, man, woman, or whatever, but left a comment. I agree! Exclamation mark. Don't wait until the new year. You can start any time. It's good to see that uh, we're, we're all coming up with the same things. Kelly Mahoney. Uh, thank you, Kelly. Uh, what's the name of your weight loss app? Well, unfortunately, um, with apps on these phones, um, I might do a whole seminar on... Um, apps and uh, the pros and cons of doing apps, but it's it's gone now. Um, sadly, um, I could do a whole five hour lecture and if there's people out there who want to invite me to do a lecture and talk about apps and the pros and cons of doing those apps, I'll certainly uh, give you a lot about that, but I did learn a lot. And what was fascinating during that process and um, that there was things that I was doing there. Obviously, I'm pretty motivated, determined kind of person, as you may have gathered from the uh, vlogs. And I was working with a, a very successful businessman on the uh, project, and I turned around a particular um, piece of work in 48 hours, and uh, the guy who's worked with, um, you know, his sole businesses, multi-millionaire guy, he said he'd never seen anything like it, and uh, agencies normally take six to eight months to produce the kind of stuff that I produced within 48 hours. So yeah, Again, I'm blowing my own trumpet. Skills, we've all got skills, and my particular skills were in that, and it was fantastic. Help launch and move the uh, product forward. But as this happens in the big wide world, you have competitors that come along and plagiarize what you do. And uh, yeah, 
for me, it was just little old me. And uh, yeah, I could do a whole seminar on that. But I'm here to talk about the veganism and today's vlog. So thank you all so much for those amazing comments. And if you want to leave some comments on this one below in terms of what I'm talking about, then please do. And if you are new here, as I said, please do consider subscribing. But one thing I forgot to mention um, earlier is I announced the uh, Christmas giveaway if you are new here. Get along now, that's it, now, action, now. Get along to uh, that vlog that I'd done uh, at the weekend with a Christmas giveaway and there's two special items that uh, you can't buy um, that I uh, basically, uh, my, my items that I had from the uh, one of the Marathon Major weekends. Go along, I say, I think I've put the link up there. Click on that link, have a look through with your chance to win one of those prizes. There's no, uh, no whatever, but yeah, get over there. Don't miss out on that uh, Christmas giveaway. So, getting on to the topic of veganism, ketosis, um, being an athlete. Let me have a drink of tea, because, oh, really not all that with, uh, there is no script here. As I've said before, I'm just uh, talking straight off the uh, top of my head. Let me have a quick sip, a little breather. I hope you're all doing well today. It's a Wednesday, Wednesday wisdom. And I think yesterday's vlog from a transformation Tuesday has become a uh, Wednesday wisdom. I think sometimes um, we tend to overthink things, don't we? And, uh, and I'm very flattered a lot of people say there's, there's no BS here. And I'm certainly not one for BS. I'm just a pretty straight talking guy. I don't mince me words and I wear my heart on my sleeve. So there's a lot of things, and I've done it before. We, we overthink things, don't we? And I saw a little, um, a little ditty that someone put together. Um, if you're happy and you know it, overthink. If you're happy and you know. So it's about being happy. When you're happy, there's no need to overthink it. Just be happy. Be in the moment, be happy. So that little poem, overthink, we tend to, if things are going good, we tend to overthink, oh, why is it going so good? Well, and then the same when it's going bad, we, whatever. it's just part of life, things go up and down. But uh, it looks like, because I've been driving up for a while, and I don't know what your thoughts are, guys, because I think I've already been going on for over 10 minutes here. So I don't know what your thoughts are, and I'd love to hear your feedback. With these daily vlogs, do you like them short, snappy, punchy? Do you like me just chatting? I know some people used to do, I think it was weekly, um, they would do a live thing and it'd be like two hours. Um, you know, do, do, do you like having long things each day, short things each day? Ooh, yeah, sorry, double entendre there. But, uh, long things, short things, woo, woo. Yes, as I said, the most important six inches for me is between here and here, yes. So, um, do you like short ones, long ones? I think I'm gonna have to roll over to tomorrow the full uh, debate on uh, vegan ketosis and, um, and all that. But what I would like to say is, and leading up to this, um, is that whether you're vegan and you decide to be vegan, or whether you're a carnivore, pes pes pescator? Pescatarian, pescatarian, pescator. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Greek god, is it a pescador, monitor, minotaur? Anyway, pescatarian, vegetarian, um, all types of things out there. And as I say, we're now coming into the season of fad diets. Yeah, they're all going to kick off. We're going to have all sorts of celebrities, whether it be Kylie Minogue, Kylie Jenner, whatever. Um, I don't know, all these people are going to come up with this amazing thing of how they lost weight uh, in an amazing time by taking on this diet. And the only thing I can say is, um, as was mentioned, I think from Nathan when he turned vegan and he's lost weight and he's feeling really great, is it works for him. People, if you want to be a vegan or you want to be a pescatarian, that's great, that's fine by me. For me, I eat all sorts of stuff. If you saw what I had in that uh, breakfast, I think that might classify me as a, a vegan, I'm sure. I mean, if some people want to leave some comments, I don't um, follow it religiously. Um, and I do enjoy having meat as well. But one of the key things, and I'll go through it in more detail tomorrow, so don't forget to subscribe. Bing! Yeah, subscribe so you don't miss it uh, tomorrow. Is that uh, the interviews with elite triathletes. Now, there's an endurance triathlete who claims that uh, he can do really well. Um, and it's a bold claim. He claims that he's able to do the endurance and he's one of the fittest men in the world, blah, 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 because he's vegan. Yeah. 
and he does ultras. So there's two key words he's using there, which is hot topics at the moment. That's vegan and ultras. You put those two together, that's a recipe for woo. So yes, he's become very popular. However, there's a guy who, I think this guy done five Ironman in five days, which is tremendous, doing one full Ironman, fair place. I've never done a full Ironman, hats off. He's done five in five days. But there's a guy who done 50 in 50 days, and doesn't seem to get any press coverage, doesn't seem to get any accolades, or maybe he doesn't want that. But, um, you know, I don't know. So I had a bit of a dig, a deeper dig, digger deep, deep dig into one of these interviews that popped up from the uh, Global Triathlon Network, GTN, as you might see them on YouTube. And they interviewed the elite triathletes of the world, um, the top triathletes of the world, and not one of them was following ketosis or vegan. I think someone asked them that question about ketosis, said no. Um, and the key thing that almost every one of them said is that they listen to their bodies. They listen to their bodies. We all talk about that we're all individuals, we're all different, we're all wired in different ways, and we are. Um, I could talk about, you know, but for me, it's all about being happy. If you're happy being a vegan, fantastic. If you're happy being a pescatarian, fantastic. Vegetarian, fantastic. Carnivore, fantastic. Just be happy doing what you're doing. I think a year ago, the word of happiness, I think the most happiest country in the world is apparently Denmark. And uh, when I was a kid, the Danes, the only thing I knew about Denmark or Danish was Danish bacon. Uh, yeah, I know, random stuff. This is back in the 70s, long time ago, 70s, 80s, Danish bacon. Shh. Do you remember those adverts? Shh. But uh, apparently Denmark is, has been voted for many years in a row the most famous, the, the, not the most famous, the happiest country in the world, followed by Switzerland. And having been to Switzerland, I've not been to Denmark yet, I can see why those people are happy. Now this thing rose up called Hygge. Hygge, Hygge, I might have pronounced it wrong. And apparently the way to be happy is to follow the Hygge. Now, my view on that is Hygge is a Norwegian. I think someone extrapolated it to Scandinavian, but it is Norwegian. I don't know if there's any Swedish people, Finnish people, or other Scandinavian uh, countries around Denmark, Iceland, and um, those Scandinavian Viking Nordic countries. Um, do you have Higgers as well? I don't know, I may have pronounced it wrong, but that word is H-Y-G-G-E, I think somewhere along there. And it just took the world by storm and it said it was gonna revolutionize the world. And here we are a year on, I mean, have you heard of it? Uh, are you following it? And from what I've seen, um, being from an Italian background, it's similar to what the Italians do. It's about being together, being together as a group, family, sharing and enjoying our things and uh, having a great time. And I could also talk about a particular book that I read a while back of a village, and I'll do that in another story where they thought that, you know, there was a, a, a town city in America that had the lowest heart rates heart attacks or whatever. And then when they went there, they thought, are they all super fit, super slim, super this, super that? No, what they found is that they were, and I'll cut to the chase, that there was people who were obese, they're fat smokers, ate pizza, all done all sorts of stuff. But the key thing that they were, they were all happy and they lived longer, yeah? So the key thing that I, my message to you, whatever diets you follow, whatever you do, just be happy doing it. And remember, take that action, enjoy the process. As I said yesterday, it's about following what you can do year on year. I mean, it's seven years ago when I started. Seven years ago. And it's not started, it's a daily thing now. It's what I do each and every day, like when I drink my tea. As I said, ginger and lemon today, fantastic. And uh, it's what we do each and every day. It's those little things each and every day. And uh, today, I was at uh, the gym and I've not been feeling too good the past few days, so a bit bunged up, a bit fluey, whatever. I think something I caught, um, not caught, but have, it slowly come upon me. I think it was Saturday where it sort of peaked. So yeah, I still managed to do the half marathon. Yeah, link up there with uh, Lawrence, because I'd committed to uh, doing that. So I was pacing Lawrence and done that. Um, but I noticed that uh, I wasn't feeling too good. And this morning, have a quick look at uh, what I done in the gym today. So Grunus, today uh, uh, on the training plan it was supposed to be uh, a nice easy run but uh, I'm not feeling too good, a bit under the weather and as I've got a race on Sunday I want to make sure that I'm in tip top condition so I decided to come here to the gym and just do a nice, can you see that, can you see that nice easy row on the rowing machine here so just keep the legs ticking over 
um, yeah sometimes you know if you're not feeling uh, too good you need to change and adapt and that's what I'm doing today yeah I do I do walk the walk yeah not talk the talk yeah so uh, catch you guys uh, later enjoy today's daily vlog Yes, so I haven't been feeling 100%, so the plan said to go out for an easy run, but I've got a race on Sunday and I want to make sure I'm tip top for that race because I'm going to go out there and race it. And uh, yes, I'll tell you more about it in the future days. But uh, So I'm not feeling too good, so I need to keep the body ticking over, so it's just a, a 15 minute easy row, nice relaxation, some stretching, and here I am. I had my breakfast, feeling really good, and I feel happy, and I'm happy that you're watching this. So I think I've gone on long enough. So thank you all so much for watching this. As I said, leave some positive comments below what you think in terms of the length. Are you happy sitting here listening to it? Um, watching? <laughs> Is it too long? Do I keep it brief? As I say, I don't follow any notes. As I say, I'm just having a conversation with you guys. And I know some people did comment that they do like the conversation formats of conversing with you. So thank you all so much for uh, watching. I really do appreciate the time that you take coming here each and every day watching these. And if you do enjoy them, please do give it a thumbs up, like and share, and tell your friends and family to come along and watch the Daily Donato Show. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the time. My name is Donato, and you've been watching the Daily Donato. Bye.